Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So in this video, we're going to be creating a cool, sleek, animated input field using just HTML and CSS. So without any delay, let's get started. Here you have the input field, which looks pretty normal. But as soon as I focus, you'd see that the placeholder shrinks and moves top. And then you have this gradient cool background that pops up. And here you can type your text. Let's do it again. Now let's learn how to build this using HTML and CSS in just a few minutes. First, let's set up our basic HTML structure. Here in this index.html file, you're gonna click exclamation and hit enter and you have the basic browser template. Here you can link your CSS file using the link tag. Once that is done, in the body, we're gonna create a div with the class of input container. Now this div will have an input element with the type of text, which could be anything. And then you're gonna add an ID of animated input. We'll also have a label for the input, which is for the placeholder. And here you can link the ID of the input to the label using the for attribute. Then we have the input background or input BG class that will serve as the animated background, which also seems to appear as the border of the input. And with this, we have our HTML structure ready. Now in our CSS, we import first the Google font pop-ins to our design. We set a universal selector to reset the margin and padding of all the elements and apply box sizing property. This ensures that our padding and border are included in the elements total width and height and not extra. We didn't style the body to take up a full viewport height and width. We use CSS grid to center everything at the center, both horizontally and vertically. And then we also set the background color to a light gray for a clean look. Let's style our input container and the input field itself. The input container class is used to style the container that holds the input field. It is set to a width of 300 pixels and given a border radius for rounded corners. And then we have added box shadow for a more subtle clean look. The input element inside of the container is styled to take the full width of the container with some padding for better spacing. We remove the default border and outline since we're going to be creating our own custom border animation and given a background color. We've also added font size and color for the input. A transition is added to smooth out the animation effect that we'll be adding next. Next, let's add animations to the label and background. The label inside the input container is styled to be positioned absolutely over the input field. It starts in the middle of the input field and moves up when the input is focused or when there is some content inside of the input. This is achieved using this focus and not placeholder shown selectors. The transition property is used for smooth animations. When the input is focused or contains text, we move the label to the top and shrink it slightly. The color of the label also changes to a bright blue. For the background animation, we use a div with the class of input BG. This div acts as the border gradient for our input field. It is positioned absolutely behind the input field and is initially scaled down to zero. When the input is focused, the background expands with a gradient effect from blue to pink. This transition property ensures smooth scaling. And there you have it. In just a few minutes, you have created a sleek animated input field using just HTML and CSS. Feel free to customize the styles and make it your own. If you enjoyed this tutorial, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel for more such tips and tricks and hit the bell icon to get notified whenever we post a new video. Thanks for watching and happy coding.